Hi guys, welcome to Fork and Allotment. Right, today I'm gonna to be doing jobs for January. So, this is the jobs that we can be doing in January. Don't forget, January is gonna be pretty cold um, for most people, and maybe some milder areas, but it is generally gonna be pretty cold. Um, and we're probably gonna have some hard frosts. So there's not gonna be all that much that we can be doing, but there are things that we can be setting up and getting ready um, now. So, the first thing we want to be doing is order your seed potatoes. Um, and also, if you have a greenhouse and it's fairly warm, you could try growing two or three potato seed potatoes in um, a bag of compost. But a lot of this depends on your location. It's probably waiting, probably best off waiting until later on in the in the year, sort of February or March, and then probably even getting your potatoes outdoors. Um, in an ideal world, by this time of the year or this time of the season, you'll have all your plot dug over and manured and leaf mould will be forming in a cage. Um, but in the real world, it's probably going to be that the decent days are going to be spent catching up on um, jobs that you haven't managed to complete yet because of the weather um, and preparing for spring. Um, with lighter soils, also what we can be doing this month, um, with lighter and drier soils, um, I'd recommend doing a runner bean trench. Um, I will go into this in more length and I have gone into it in more length on other sowing and growing guides in January, uh, uh, jobs for the month, I think it was maybe October, um, jobs for October. Um, so I will put a link up to the video, whichever one it is, it's either October or November, I think. Um, there is a link lengthy uh, explanation of how to do a runner bean trench. And I would also do a video on doing it anyway and doing it myself and uh, actually show you how it's done. Um, as stated in December, it's the traditional time for getting your seed orders in. So just make sure that you are getting all your orders in for your seeds. Um, so that you're not disappointed and you're not going to um, lose out on getting some of your seeds. Um, some of you may already be organised and have loads of seeds. I mean, I have loads of seeds, um, different varieties and everything. So um, I might be OK, but I'm going to be uh, double checking and just having a bit of a browse through, see if there's any new or unusual varieties um, that I could be getting in. Um, to show you guys um, how they are grown. Uh, so also you can be planting bare, bare root trees and bushes now if the soil isn't frozen. Um, I'll, I'll go into more, there is, a bit, there is going to be a video on um, fruit separately from this so I'll put a link up here. Um, place mouse controls in um, around your stored vegetables so that you're not going to, they're obviously not going to get um, eaten by uh, pests. Um, protect your early seedlings from slugs and um, also protect brassicas from pigeons. Look out for grey mould or brassica um, downy mildew on brassicas. Uh, remove any remaining vegetable debris from your plot. Um, do not compost anything that is diseased, anything that has blight, like blight infected potatoes or tomatoes. Do not compost any onions suffering from white rot or anything that is suffering, or anything that has rust. Um, anything like that um, that is diseased should be either disposed of in a bin or um, burned. Um, stake or earth up your Brussels sprouts um, and keep an eye on any that um, may be susceptible to wind rock um, and pick the biggest sprouts from low down the stalks at first to allow the um, for ones further up to, um, to to fatten up and get more plump. Um, Force chicory to produce plump leafy heads. Cultivate and prepare your beds. Um, 
covering them with clear polythene, cloches or fleece to help warm the soil up before sowing. Improve drainage on heavy soils by working plenty of organic matter into the, into the soil. Uh, a lot of people do um, recommend using grit, but grit will only work in conjunction with organic matter. Grit isn't going to do anything. If you just put grit into heavy soils, it's not going to help. It's just going to make the it's just gonna, probably just going to make the the situation worse. Um, I've never tried using grit on its own. I've always been told not to because it's going to it's not going to help. It's just going to clump up um, around your clumps and probably make it even worse. Just don't do it. Use grit in conjunction with organic matter. Um, that could be anything from manure, um, kitchen scraps, anything you can dig into the soil that is organic, or green manures. Um, I have the green manure which uh, has been decimated by by, by rabbits. Um, I'm not too pleased with that, but it got killed back mostly by the frosts anyway, so it's not a big issue. I'm going to be doing a video on digging that in soon because it's pretty much just down to the ground now. It's just stems. Um, that was the mustard green manure that I put in last year. Um, I will be digging that in in February, so um, I will do a video on that. So I'll, I'll leave that there. Um, when gardening on wet soils, try to work from a plank of wood rather than standing on the bed, the, the dug bed, um, and therefore compacting the soil and just undoing what you've already done, really. Um, save your egg boxes because they'll come in handy for chitting potatoes. Also, plan your crop rotation system to ensure that your crops are not going to be grown in the same bed two years in a row. Um, I do have a video which I will again put a card up here um, on crop rotation so you guys can go and check that out and um, see what can actually be um, done with crop rotation and what crop rotation is if you don't understand what it is. Um, I'm not saying that anybody, everybody doesn't understand um, but if you are new to gardening you don't really know much about gardening. Um, there is a video there on crop rotation which can be really helpful um, for when you um, don't know what you're doing. So um, that is everything for this video. Um, as I said before, please everybody have a great new year. Please do enjoy yourselves um, and please do get out and do some gardening if your weather allows. Um, and other than that, please do um, like, comment and subscribe. Um, Keep supporting the channel. 405 subscribers now on the channel. Um, and we have over a 1,000 followers on Instagram and over 2,800 followers on Twitter. Um, so, yeah, everybody, keep supporting the channel. Keep watching my videos and just be brilliant that you are, brilliant people that you are. Um, and other than that, as I say, always... Stay warm, stay safe, and please do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, and I shall see you all in the next video.